There has never been a time when we've had so many systems with massive data sets that need to talk to each other effortlessly and seamlessly. Through automating previously manual processes, the workers become more efficient and more productive. Our customers benefit from automation and digitization of the information by gaining the ability to aggregate and make sense out of this all previously disparate pieces of data. Ultimately, we believe this transformation will drive higher revenues and improve profitability. We have built decades of industry knowledge into our platforms, automating mission-critical processes for the largest companies in the world, including the top 10 U.S. banks, top five U.S. healthcare payers, four of the five largest global retailers, 98% of the Amlaw 100, and of course, 60% of the Fortune 100. Over a decade ago, we set out with an M&A strategy to buy business process outsourcing companies and inject technology to build a leading provider of business process automation. Starting in 2007, we built easily configurable rules engines so we could capture the process expertise of our knowledge workers within the platform. Today in healthcare alone, we have over half a million rules embedded in the system across a variety of templates. We enabled the electronic submission of complex claims with immediate alerts to any deficiencies. That way the provider can fix them before submitting. In 2009, we built our RPA platforms to trace the actions of our experts when they were working in our customer systems. In 2011, we launched our first cognitive automation platform, pulling in large external data sets, natural language processing, and machine learning to drive optimization. When you combine with our unified communications, that's where you really transform the experience full cycle. For example, we can read millions of smart meters at once using predictive analytics to forecast the load, but then we can send targeted messages to actually change the consumer behavior, like offering certain individuals a price discount to run the dishwasher after 10 p.m. or promoting the optimal product package. Accela brings a full suite of enterprise software. When deployed together, we enable data continuity and a closed loop feedback network to drive optimization across the enterprise and completely transform the customer experience. The more data we can utilize, the more engagement channels we can introduce, the more value we can drive through enhanced quality, efficiency, and experience. Thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining our demo on our confirmation of PE solution, which forms part of our banking and financial services platform. Confirmation of PE, as you probably know, is a form of detection and verification system to combat fraud and erroneous payments in the UK market. It was proposed by PayUK, which is UK's payment authority. The reason why it was introduced is, of course, because of the growing amount of fraud and erroneous payments due to open banking, but also the digital banking system as such. This already led to about more than 250 million pounds of fraud in the last year. We provide this, com uh, this confirmation of payee service as part of our solution, as I mentioned, and a lot of organizations we support, banks and financial institutions, they use this solution and try to build it themselves. But if you get it wrong, that can have massive implications, both financial but also reputational risk, as you can understand. We have been running out this solution since the 90s with over 400 banks and financial institutions in Germany, Hungary, Austria, and in Italy. We know how this works and how it should work. We use over 20 years of programming and understanding the problematics of this implementation. Currently, we run around 5 million of controls on confirmation of PAE per day. I would like to introduce you to Christoph Steinl, our global leader in process automation. Christoph. Thank you, Hubert. Um, so what I'm going to show you is uh, our um, financial service and payment platform. And um, I'm logging into our banking services, same as usual. So I have to know everything. <coughs> ah, yeah, there it is. Nope. Huh? 
Not every time. So um, this is uh, a single sign-on into our banking platform uh, with applications like our mobile banking, um, remittance processing, or loan origination. And what I'm going to show you today is the smallest part of it, but a very important one, uh, confirmation of payee. And uh, the task sounds simple. You just have to get a transaction, there's a name with it, and you just confirm that the name is the same as the one from the account holder. But the problem is, what if this name is not exact? Yeah? What if um, th there's a certain difference in the name? Do you want to reject or have an angry customer? Um, and not with Excel COP, but uh, there's a little more thinking behind a comparison of a name than you might think in the first place, it's not just a simple string compare. And uh, we try to minimize the risk of getting a false reject, yeah? so that we have a reject rate that is much, much lower than, than usual systems, because we have put a lot of um, natural language processing methods into the name detection to understand what the parts of the name are, what are the significant parts of the name are, and what are ignorable parts. Um, and we have, for example, nickname um, databases. We have databases on uh, newly for the uh, British market uh, to transfer Gaelic names into English names and uh, things like that. And I want to demonstrate that um, all these criteria that we have in the background are all um, configurable to the needs of the bank and they can yeah, transfer the, the, the configuration to a point uh, where they think they are secure and at the same time um, as, as um, um, open as possible and not to reject um, transactions. So this would be um, yeah, a perfect match. Stephen Hawking is exactly the same but uh, some friends call him Steve and transfer money to his account with Steve Hawking, and the system here, this is the server side, this is the client side, will tell us that he matched it with a name alternative, and therefore it was okay. Here we have James T. Kirk, yeah? The system knows him as Tiberius Kirk, which is okay, that was on his, on his uh, passport maybe. And we can also call him James Kirk, yeah? The Tiberius doesn't have to be there. And I could also say, hey, well, I don't, didn't know exactly how that man was called, so I'm changing it to Kirk with C, and even that works, but the system, of course, knows it had to have a partial match on this name. But it's still okay, because what we confirm with is the, all the account holders, the um, uh, um, possible signatories to an account, um, that match um, um, the account and so that we can pay to uh, um, a name or the company name for example. Here we have Rule 14 is our own uh, um, uh, big data division and here we have a match with the fo name 14 so numerals are no problem or here this is uh, actually I don't want to pronounce the name because it's Gallic and if I query this oh it's a Gallica Shannon. Yeah? So we have the name part ignorers, and therefore we can make sure that with rules we can uh, accept the name, although it's not very exact. Yeah, and uh, one reject can cost uh, 12 to 25 pounds, and that's actually can get very expensive for a bank if they have too many of those. Um, here, another example would be a double name. Alex Chamberlain actually is Oxlade Chamberlain, and he has some additional first names, and all of it uh, matches. The total um, number of, of characters that matches uh, is enough to say the person you, whom he was transferring money to. Yeah. Um, this was my presentation. Back to you, please. Yes. I can understand if you would have some questions. Uh, we have, of course, a stand in the exhibition room, so feel free to join us and ask questions you would like. Thank you very much for your attention. And have a nice day. So just because I as a consumer or a business owner can go somewhere else for a real-time payment uh, technology solution doesn't mean that there aren't things that banks can't provide that are still core to the payments experience. 
look at things like blockchain and DLT. Even if a company decides to use DLT for inventory control, for APAR, you still need the payments integrated with that DLT structure. Now, if you think about it from a holistic industrial perspective, a startup, a non-FI probably isn't going to be able to compete in the same arena. Plus, don't forget that many companies will still be on legacy FI, bank-centric ERPs, um, all of this has to get migrated to the next wave of digital transformation. So I think as long as banks are very cognizant of working with uh, third parties and non-FIs instead of competing with them, you'll see a much more dynamic, much healthier ecosystem. I think the most obvious one is if you're a bank or a financial institution, all of a sudden you have all of these non-FI players entering the market. Because remember, when real-time payments comes to the US, initially it probably will be limited to FIs only. But if what happened in the UK and Northern Europe migrates to the US, you'll have a ton of third-party payment service providers entering the market, enabling transactions. A couple of the ones that I'm the most excited about would be request to pay, real-time payments, and confirmation of payee. If you've been using an app like a Venmo or a Zelle, that typifies what happens in a real-time payment. Now in the US, we haven't had this. Um, in the UK and in Northern Europe, they've had real-time payments for the past more than a decade. That's finally coming here to the US. So I, as an employee, being able to receive my paycheck immediately real-time, I like that. Me being able to send money to uh, a barber, someone helping me in the house, someone washing my car, a friend splitting a bill. Doing that and not having to worry about being on the same app also makes me excited. Now, if you think about a real-time payment, what's the danger, right? Danger is that you're sending someone, or sorry, you're sending money to someone erroneously, the wrong person, the wrong number, the wrong bank account, whatever. Confirmation of payee is another exciting tool that allows me as a sender to make sure that I'm sending the money to the right person without having that person's confidential personal details. From a disruption point of view, I think about what are the pain points that consumers don't like about banks and don't like about financial institutions. You're going to see third parties attacking those pain points using RTP technology to figure out how to take everything that's core to a payment and attach services around it, right? Um, like messaging, like the request to pay, like the confirmation of payee, making the transaction and the experience more seamless, more comprehensive, and all of a sudden, it's less about the actual transaction, right? The act of moving money from person A to person B, and it's much more about what's going along with the transaction, an invoice, a receipt, a ledger, right? That's where things get interesting. In 2017, this industry promised real-time payments as the future, offering instantaneous and secure transactions. In fact, according to a study by Visa, over 80% of Treasury management executives are eager to adopt this technology and bring it to market. However, given the high cost and complexity of integration, banks have been slow and unsuccessful at getting to market. And Hisham, what happens every time we release a new payment system in the US? I don't know, Salar, why don't you tell us? It basically gets bolted on as a standalone product without any consideration for interoperability. I'm Salar Salishore, Director of Product Marketing. This is Hisham Siddiqui, Product Marketing Specialist at Accela Technologies. We're here today to share with you a real-time platform that goes beyond transactions. Our platform is uh, designed to enable you to quickly get to market with real-time payments and speed up the process uh, without any uh, issues by bringing everything together from the integration with, with bill rendering and presentation to integrated receivables 
in one easy-to-use platform. We're able to do this because Excella Technologies is one of the largest global transaction process companies in the world. Our financial technology is deployed in over 1,000 banks, including the top 10 US banks, and we process over 60 million transactions every single day. So first, we're going to show you a demo to explain how our real-time payments platform takes it to the next level um, and enables you to quickly get to market. Second, we're going to show you how we're improving the adoption of real-time payments through a comprehensive solution. And finally, we're going to showcase how we're accelerating the full potential of RTP that the market demands. Thanks, Salar. So let's pretend that I work in the receivables department for Pluto Energy Company. I'm going to go ahead and log into Excella's banking and financial services. Does anyone remember what model and year my first car was? Just kidding. So once I'm in my dashboard, I'm able to see icons for all the banking and financial services that Excella offers, such as billing and invoicing and reporting and analytics. But for the purpose of today's demo, I'm going to click on Electronic Bill, Presentment, and Payment. Once I'm in here, I see my dashboard, which surfaces key insights in the form of a graph. But because I work in receivables, I want to click Manage Account and Request for Payment. And I can see all the accounts that have past due balances. I could send a mass request to all of them, but for the purpose of today's demo, I just want to send one to Katie Barnes, because she's at risk for service interruption. I'm going to click Request for Payment. It's going to connect to Excella's payment switch. Once it's connected, I'm able to review all the details. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click Request. And that's it. We sent a real-time payment request. Now, let's look at this from Katie's point of view, because uh, we want to see how easy it makes it for her to process this payment and make sure that Pluto, uh, I'm sorry, to, yeah, to make sure that Pluto Energy gets paid instantly. So she logs into her email, and she only has one unread email, so I'm super jealous of her. The notification is from her bank, and it's showing her payment request. She has the option to pay in full or partial, so it makes it really easy. But because she's at risk for service interruption, we're going to go ahead and click on Pay in Full. She's taken to the login portal for Pluto Energy, and she's able to see her bill. She can also download it as a PDF, and this is also generated and created by Excella's payment platform. And it's also super important because we know that customers are more likely to pay their bill when it's shown to them one more time when it's requested. So we're just going to select that we want to pay the amount due, that we want to do it in real time, and that we want to make the payment. We're going to go ahead and confirm that all the details look good. And because they do, I'm going to go ahead and click Pay. And that's it. She went ahead and made a payment in real time. And this was done on Excella's fully white-labeled platform. So you guys are able to customize this for your own company using Excella's payment switch. Thanks so much, Hisham. So I've, we've seen this quick demo, and it's a great use case for when timely payments are really critical um, for business. I want to touch on a few additional uh, situations and, and kind of highlight how we accelerate the adoption of real-time payments. So the first thing is wire services. Um, you know, when the guaranteed delivery of funds and uh, you know, time and cost are critical factors for a transaction, RTP is the optimal payment solution, and it's a simple and convenient alternative to wire services in many, many, many situations. Um, second, I want to touch on payroll. Uh, payroll is often the, the highest expense for most companies, and because of the immediate settlement um, in, in real-time payments network, uh, this, ena this enables an opportunity for, for companies to have three to five additional days of working capital, which can be really transformative. Excella takes this a step further by integrating the real-time uh, payment network in our human capital management platform, which enables our customers to uh, be able to process payroll and also manage their cash in one simple platform with one vendor. Finally, I just want to touch on the payment switch technology, which integrates with the real-time payments network. It also integrates with ACH, 
um, ISO and other message-based systems like Swift and ICS to give our customers maximum uh, options for how they request and get paid. Thanks, Salar. So today, we highlighted how Excella's comprehensive banking and financial services suite makes our real-time payments platform better than just any add-on solution. So if you're considering RTP, come talk to us and learn how to do RTP the right way by texting XELA to 484848 and do RTP the right way as an out-of-the-box, fully white-labeled and secure solution. Thank you. Thanks. The Excella process employs minimal human touch and maximum automation. When it comes to day-to-day -day document lifecycle management, Excella has the experience, the technology, and the people. Incoming documents follow a standard manifest process to ensure they are transported safely and securely. The prep process moves extremely quickly. Hundreds of documents are processed per hour per employee. The actual amount depends on the documents. During prep, documents are organized into batches and covered with a batch cover sheet. This might be used to identify the documents or just separate them into manageable volumes, again depending upon the requirement. Documents are processed through a high-speed scanner with special speed features to enable capacity planning. The scanner selected for use can process up to 20,000 pages per hour. To ensure that every page is scanned, the scanner counts the number of pages ingested and the scan operator validates the number upon output. Discrepancies are re-scanned immediately. Optical or intelligent character recognition is the process by which machine or handwritten data is captured, interpreted, and used to characterize an electronic document. In the following demonstration, we have a handwritten submission form template. Notice the empty fields on the right. When OCR is complete, these will be populated with the data from the form. First, the extraction engines remove the static components based on the template. The machine shows the yellow areas that are included in the targeted zones. Next, the system extracts the data in those zones and populates the fields below. Notice the confidence score for each page. This identifies how certain the system is that the data collected is correct. Here's an example of another kind of document. This shows how form field information can be collected and presented. It also shows how even a damaged barcode can still be read and used. We can make the electronic image better than the original. This is an example of the type of older document we might be asked to scan. Here are some of the techniques we use to improve the electronic image. Excella recommends a box office repository from which electronic documents can be searched and retrieved quickly and easily. As for the disposition of paper documents, both shredding or long-term storage are available. With Excella's state-of-the-art electronic tracking system, a paper document can be retrieved within minutes. Hello, I'm Kai McDonald. I'm a director at Rule 14. So at Rule 14, we deliver a suite of solutions powered by machine learning and predictive analytics. We deploy a number of pre-trained models, as well as models that we can deploy on the fly to make sense of otherwise unstructured documents. So this can mean document classification for downstream routing. It can mean document extraction for pulling out key bits of information that could be buried within pages and pages of text or images. It can mean document summarization, where we take very large documents and condense them into you know, short paragraphs, easily readable by a human. It could also mean you know, link analysis, looking at documents thematically and finding commonalities across a very broad document set. When you go from the unstructured document to structured output, that really opens up a huge array of potential downstream modeling where we're provided with a box of unlabeled documents. For each document type, there's probably going to be specific information of interest that we're going to want to either extract or summarize for. And we would apply our models to then extract within the document for each and every class those key bits of information that you may be interested in. We typically provide these within our box office enterprise information management system, which functions both as a document repository, but it also houses our advanced analytics. As you can imagine, these sorts of services are very valuable to you know, our enterprise customers that are dealing with vast quantities of unstructured data, typically sitting in silos. We've completed this service for a number of the largest banks, uh, as well as healthcare companies and uh, legal service providers as well.
I thought the, the discussion today was very good. It was great to talk about robotics and AI. It's nice to be able to get some information to go back with to make sure that we're proving our business case, we're going into the proof of concept with the right direction, and understanding where we are and where we need to go. We've opened up doors to technology. They talk about robotics, and I'm not into the hip terminologies these days, but all I know is it means instead of a person doing something, it's a computer doing something. Uh, my name is Christopher Coulter. Uh, my name is Ramiro Acosta. My name is Maya Shah. Emmanuel Garcia. My name is Samuel Padilla. My name is Jamie Villarro. Hi, my name is Zach Limos. Paul Garcia. Hey guys, I'm Dan and Jay. Hi, I'm Solar Salashore, Director of Product Marketing at Excel Technologies in Santa Monica. And I'm Scott Blunt, Strategic Deal Lead. Hi, my name is Titus Mathis. Hi, I'm Mark Fairchild. Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Mayen. I work at Excel Technologies in the Human Resources Department. I have been with the company for a number of years. And after these years, I can tell you with the very straight face that, in my opinion, I have the coolest job in the world. Our mission is to drive lasting value and exceptional user experiences. And we say user, it's across the board. Um, it starts with our clients, and then it moves on to our employees and then our shareholders. You know, at Excella, when we talk about lasting value and exceptional user experience, it's about accelerating digital transformation for our customers, for our employees. Um, and the way we do that is by integrating people and technology. We have three values that are very core, near and dear to our hearts. The first one is dedication. Uh, we are dedicated to you know, our clients and you know, we're dedicated to doing everything we can for our clients. The other value that we hold near and dear is personal responsibility. Personal responsibility at Excel is about delivering excellent service and excellent results. It's about taking ownership over what you do every day uh, to deliver those excellent results that we have committed to our clients. And the last value is innovation. Innovation at Excella is about that constant pursuit to always improve the user experience. Excella's innovation centers are all equipped with three large interactive screens. We can display whatever content's appropriate for the particular meeting. And these screens just interact simply at the touch of a button to take me into different areas of a presentation. 
At Excella, today more than ever, we are seeing and living and breathing that global collaboration. Many companies will talk about being global, but at Excella, we are global. We are borderless. Our teams are connected, independent of time zones, independent of geographies, and independent of distances between them. Um, at, at Excella, if you have the right skills, if you have the right experience, if you have that, if you have the right values, dedication, responsibility, if you're innovative, you will have that opportunity to collaborate with work teams from across the world. You know, one of the things I love about Excella is that we also know how to have fun. If there's one thing that counts the most, here at Excella, we want you to leave work every day feeling proud of what you accomplished.